but I'm scared she's going to pull the antler off of that moose. <laughs> you are just the cutest thing. Oh. Well, guys, this is Belle. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> right. She is just having a blast. <laughs> you are just so precious. Were you scared about that she that she's gonna pull one of the antlers off? Oh yeah. Did you let her walk around the house? Nope. So this is Belle's little play area. She's got her toy, she's got her moose. <laughs> Say hi to the camera, wow. Belle. Hey, watch out that doesn't fall on her head. Yeah, that one be good. Belle's just exploring around the house. No. No, we can't go on the pretty red carpet yet. Not until you're potty trained, Missy. Bell, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you are just such a sweetie pie. Come on, Bell. Bell, come here. Bell, come on. Good girl. No, not towards the red carpet. There you go. No. No, Belle. Come on, come in. Come on. Come in. Come into your den. Good girl. Oh, you just keep scratching and scratching. Well, as you can see, Belle is quite spoiled. As you can see, all of the toys that she has. A lot of them are new. Um, There's only a couple that we kept um, from our old dog because we just got rid of a lot of the ones that he played with all the time. and We just kept the ones that he didn't like. Like this little beauty here, he didn't like that one. But in this one, he didn't really like this toy either. But this is a special toy that every dog for the past four, <laughs> see, even Belle likes it. <laughs> um, every dog that we have had in the family since my mom was a little kid has liked this ball. So her dog, Trixie, and then my first dog, Hershey, and then Duffy. And now Belle like the ball. I don't know why they like the and they haven't like like destroyed it yet. So yeah. Oh, you've been scratching yourself a lot. Mm hmm She's been so curious, just like looking around everywhere. Just trying to get used to this place. We haven't even really had to use the gates. So we have a gate here. We have another gate here for like her den, but like we've kept this gate open like the majority of the day and she hasn't even tried to leave. You're just a well-mannered little puppy. You're really easy. Our last dog, when he was a puppy, he used to run around this island and he ran around it for like an hour or two hours straight. 
Oh, look, right when I say that, you're trying to escape. And go to places where you're not supposed to be. Don't put your nose where you're not supposed to be. Come on. She's been going back and forth from playing with her ball to looking over at the door to see when Brady comes home. She saw earlier today my brother was the one that got to pick her up because I was at work. Now he's at work and she is attached to him already. Oh, she likes that now. She's liked all of her toys. It's just amazing how she's played with every single one of them. <laughs> she's just not a very picky dog. Or maybe dogs aren't very picky in general. My last dog was very picky about his toys. They couldn't be soft toys at all. He liked the really hard ones. Having fun with it, with that Rudolph. <laughs> She's like, oh, now I'm gonna go destroy the pig, or the ball, or the pig. Now she heard that noise and she likes that noise. The funny thing is, is she hasn't barked all day. We even like rang the doorbell and knocked on the door to see like if we would get her to bark. She hasn't barked at all. I mean, we're not complaining. We just thought that was odd that she wasn't barking. She is two and a half months old. She just cannot decide what to play with. That's okay. She's got all of them. She's like, oh wait, the keys. I almost forgot about them. I want to, I want to chew on those now. <laughs> hey, never mind. I'll go back to this. Take that. Brady's home. Oh, it's she is just so cute when she sleeps. Oh.